breath videos. Hi, my ILS students. Let's take a deep breath in. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. We are going to focus on math. Today, at this point, we need to get out our, our um, week 26, 25, sorry, week 25 packet and take out the four sheets of math. You have, this will be the front sheet. So I'm gonna undo the staple in the back. We're gonna prep this out so that we can use this as many times as we want because it's a great opportunity to work on our numbers and our counting. So what Miss Callie would recommend you doing is in your week 26 packet, you received three sheets of construction paper for our art projects we're gonna do. Pick out one of the colors you wanna use it for, and let's glue this sheet onto it so that if, while we're cutting them out, they're a little bit thicker. It helps for the cutting, but more importantly, it'll stay strong. So you can either glue it with the craft glue that I put in one of your other packets, or I know you each got a glue stick. I don't know if it's good anymore because I know we go through a lot of glue sticks, sorry. So I'm gonna spread some glue on this. Oh, looks like I'm running out of glue too. Time to go back to the store again. So put the glue on your sheet, spread it out. Cause we're gonna use that to, uh, so that we can have these pages, these numbers last a long time. There we go. So I don't want our numbers to go away. Yeah, my glue stick has definitely seen better days. I think I'll finish this one off and go get another one later. But for now, it'll work. I hope you all are able to uh, use whatever glue stick or whatever glue you have to mount that onto a piece of construction paper, just like so. Grab this to wet my hand. And then, depending on levels of abilities, it might be easier to have a little help and cut them out like so. And then, you guys can each have one individual one and cut them out. It makes it a little easier for the cutting process to follow, follow the black line. And this is excellent fine motor practice. It's a great activity and it's kind of therapeutic. So we're gonna cut out each of these numbers. But like I said, it probably would make it easier if they were first cut out like so, and made as individual ones. Just like that. And if it's easier, just leave them like this. You don't have to cut them out to be, for per, you know, to make sure it's perfect. This, they, they will work whether they're square or whether they're circular, doesn't matter. You can cut them out just like this, or you can leave them larger. I'll cut out a few more. Um, and then you can see what we can do with these. So this is a great fine motor bilateral movement activity. And Miss Andrea would be so impressed with your cutting skills, I'm sure. I'll have to let her know that you guys are doing this as extra. So the, the cookie monster is gonna eat the cookies. It's not gonna be done in this particular video but we do want to have them cut out because we're going to want to use them. So there's the cookie monster. And then here's our numbers. What I want you to do today with your numbers is please take out this sheet with the chocolate chips on it, and you're going to match. You're gonna count and match the correct number with the cookie on this sheet. So, if you see when you're doing it, I'm 
have met them. Like, oh, how close is six and nine? Oh yeah, good. They look very different. Thank goodness, nine and six. Um, but you're gonna want to make sure so you can at least see where the next one is. So I just cut out my number. So let's do this. Just, you can even just start one. Okay, so you need to match your one with one. One, two. Where's two? And if it needs to be a little easier, you can always take another piece of your construction paper and cover the other num the other numbers so that we are not having an overwhelming amount of information in front at, at the same time. So you can make it easier just by covering this and focusing on one line. If you want to do the middle line, again, one of the middle lines, cover the information on the top and the bottom. So these sheets are very handy. You can cut one sheet into two and then have like half here and half there. However you want to do it. Just remember that sometimes it's easier to limit the amount of information coming in at the same time. And you're just going to count one, two, three. And then again, another option, just give them two numbers to choose from. And then once you're saying, count this cookie. One, two, three. Which one's three? Right there. And match. So it's it can be done to whatever level you want it to be. They can each cut those cookies out each individually, or you can give them each one and all they have to do is cut a little bit out or they can just take a little bit off each corner. Something as simple as you can draw a pink line so it's a different color so it's just a straight line and they're just practicing cutting. However you want to do it just keep working and have fun. Try and make it as fun as you can counting those chocolate chips and matching them with the correct number. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Rough, rough videos.